Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday, the 31st of July. With Robert Murray McShane, as we read through his readings, the two chapters we have today are Jeremiah chapter 27 and Mark chapter 13. And there's an, a link or a shared idea in the two of them. In Jeremiah, he's, uh, the prophet is sent to Jerusalem and to proclaim to the people, don't believe the false teaching because the end of uh, the Babylonian occupation is not going to be soon. We read in verse 16, Then I said to the priests and all the people, This is what the Lord says. Do not listen to the prophets who say, Very soon now the articles from the Lord's house will be brought, brought back from Babylon. They are prophesying lies to you. Do not listen to them. Serve the king of Babylon and you will live. The false prophets were coming with very optimistic, very encouraging, very nice sounding words. And it's always a warning. If, if, if people are saying things which we want to hear, that's a danger. The scripture says, and they'll gather around them teachers who will teach them things that their itching ears want to hear. Inevitably, prophets come with words we don't want to hear. Certainly, most of what Jeremiah had to say, the people didn't want to hear. And we can continue with that in, in Mark, where Jesus comes and he uh, uh, prophesies the fall of Jerusalem. And in verse 21, he says, At that time, anyone who says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or look, there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So be on your guard. I have told you everything in advance. And so Jesus says that there are going to be false um, prophets, false messiahs, that will be very, very, very credible. But don't believe them. And as I was pondering, what, what do you believe then? I came to that, that last sentence, it says, Be on your guard, I have told you everything in advance. I have told you. And that's what we have to fall back on, those things that Jesus has told us, that God has revealed to us. And when we hear these teachings, when we hear these promises, when we see signs and, and all things like that, we've got to go back to Scripture. We've got to get back to the Word of God. We've got to say, what does the Bible actually say? And we've got to use that to judge and to measure whatever prophecy or word or teaching there is. And it's something that you need to apply to all teaching, to mine as well as anybody else. Um, Go back to the text, go back to scripture, look at what the Bible says and go with what you read there. If what the teacher says helps to explain it, helps it to make sense, aligns with the rest of the teaching of scripture, um, good and well. But where it doesn't, be very wary of it. Because Jeremiah walked, warned that there were uh, prophets who were prophesying lies. Jesus says there will be false prophets and false messiahs. Be on your guard. So hang on to God's word, those things that Jesus has told us in advance. Be blessed.